Hey Tom, thanks for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you find it informative and helpful. So you can send this to whomever you'd like. Uh, the goal here is to give you a few tangible things that you can do, three specific things that you can do that will help get you ranking and help bring more business into your, your site here. So those three things are content, citations, and backlinks. Uh, so content, Google is usually looking for about 1,500 words or so of content on your page in order to find out if it's relevant or not when people are searching. So people search for keywords. And that's just all a search term is called as a keyword. So like electrician school of Lexington and Google's going to crawl all the pages and try to find what website has the most pertinent information on there that will um, the user will most likely want to read. So Google prefers to have more words, of course, because that makes their job easier to determine what your website's about and specifically what this page is about. So making sure you have the right keywords in here is paramount to ranking. So I did search for a couple keywords here, electrician, school, Lexington, Kentucky. There's not a huge search volume for this. I did spend a little bit more time. Um, I did find some phrases that are more national, but... Uh, they, they did seem to be targeted by your competition here, so there might be something to that. But anyways, uh, so electrician, electrician schools in Kentucky, in Lexington, Kentucky, you guys are not ranking in the map pack or in the first few um, organic listings here. So how do you rank in the map pack? This one's pretty straightforward. So to rank in the map pack here, you have to have more citations than all your competition. A citation is just your name, address, phone number, and URL being listed in a directory. All a directory is, is like Yellow Pages, White Pages, uh, Yelp, you know, there, there's thousands of them online. Making sure you have more than your competition will definitely bring you up this map pack here. So the second thing in order to rank in this map pack would be ranking organically. So whoever's ranking organically will have more power to rank in the map pack. Okay. So, oh, and the one more comment. The majority of clicks go to the map pack for most uh, services. And then for some people who are looking for more information, it does tend to come down here to the organics. So it's important to rank in the organics, but also to rank in the map pack. So how do you rank here in the organics? So like I said, content is number one for that. The next thing would be backlinks. So I'm going to get to that here in a second. So I did search for HVAC. You guys were not here. You did not pop up for this. Um, either plumbers, plumbing schools wasn't coming up. So not what I mean by that is there's not a lot of search volume here. Um, so, you know, it is what it is. But you're not coming up here as well. I did pull up the HVAC and electric, electrical um, electrician. And this is, this is what we got. This is the competition for this keyword. So there's 40 people for the school that are searching a month that are not finding your stuff. And then another college as well. So these are the folks that we'd be competing against. And I did pull up Arifs here. So Arifs is just a tool that allows you to look behind the scenes on what's going on. So I, I mentioned backlinks before. So what is a backlink? A backlink is a link from one website to another. So if you think about a Facebook post, someone leaves a link to your website, that would be one backlink, and the referring domain would be Facebook. Not all backlinks are the same. So if you have a link coming from some random guy's blog, that is not going to generate enough power, which is de defined here, as a, a new site like CNBC leaving a link to your website that is going to carry more power and more trust. So these two numbers right here are the UR and DR. So this is the URL and the domain rating. They're scored out of 100. And what this is, is a scale on what your website page is being defined as or, or um, compared to and what your domain is. The higher the number, the more popular your website is. And I use that in quotation marks. And you can't see me, but that's what I'm doing, air quotes. So 
The higher these numbers are, the more likely your website is to get crawled by Google and more keywords are going to get found and the more likely you are to rank. So having a higher UR and DR is great. This is an interesting situation because this is an education an EDU site. So the DR is going to have um, more power than is normal and it's going to be skewed a little bit. All that really means for us is in this particular case, you would want more of a one to one ratio. So I would say that, yes, it does say 73 here, but it is likely a lot closer to 20, uh, probably in the 30s. But anyways, I digress. This is definitely beatable. Uh, it's just they have a little bit more trust in their domain because it's an EDU site. OK, and then I, I did not mention. So they have 533 backlinks, but uh, 14 domains. So it would take some time to beat them. We just need to make sure you have higher quality links to, to beat them out. Same thing with these guys. They have a lot more websites referring to them. This seems to be a lot healthier website, even though it's a, it, it's a, I don't know, it's another technical college. I think their website is a little bit stronger, even though it's not as high of a number. So anyways, I had yours pulled up here. You see, it closed on me or I closed it. And this is your guys' site. Well, this is their your page, so bear with me one second. It's not, if you notice, the Eric's ranking here is 34 million compared to 49,000, which is just outrageous. And this is more of a realistic number. The reason why that 14, this is 49,000, is because again, it's an EDU. I'm going into a little bit more detail than I usually do, but want to give you everything you can. So you don't have a lot of referring domains, which means you, you are not continuously adding this. So you're going to want to ask whomever your marketing guys are to start adding more links. They do fall off, as you see, um, as time progresses. That's why it's important to continue to keep out of them. This will continue to build the relevancy of your site and the strength of your site. And having a more powerful website will then help you be found for more keywords that are on your site. And like I said before, if you have good content, you'll find good keywords and then you will be found and your business will grow. I know that's a lot. I hope you found this valuable. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll follow up with a call here. Uh, hope you have a good day. Thanks.